Talking now about the vaccine and allergic reactions. We're starting to see people who are having that reaction. We know that scientists are taking new steps now to figure out why some people are having allergic reactions to Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine. Researchers with the National Institutes of Health, they're starting a new study and they're actually recruiting volunteers that have a history of severe allergic reactions. They hope to have an answer in a few weeks. And Dr. Nachman did, they study allergic reactions as part of the vaccine trials. So in fact, if you had a history of severe allergic reactions, you were not allowed to enroll on the study. But when we talk about allergic reactions, I kind of lump them into different categories. So people that have allergies to peanuts, for instance, would have been allowed on the study because in fact, there's nothing that resembles a peanut by any stretch of the imagination in the vaccine. Traditionally, we think about what are the components of the vaccine and do you have an allergy to any? So people often ask me, oh, I have an egg allergy. Well, there's nothing about this vaccine that was ever grown in an egg, seen an egg, shown an egg, et cetera. So an egg allergy would not prevent you from getting the vaccine. Similar to that, antibiotic allergies. I often get asked about people who have penicillin allergies or sulfur allergies. There's no penicillin or its derivatives or sulfur derivatives in the vaccine. So those allergies would also not prevent you from getting the vaccine. So we are concerned about those very few isolated allergic reactions, but the good news is even among the people who had those, when they did get their medications on the spot at that time, all of them have done well. And when went and asked, would you get the vaccine again? Interestingly enough, each one said the same thing. I absolutely would. And so yes, it is a concern, but we are still getting people in to get those vaccines. And there's a way for um, people to look at the actual uh, ingredients of the vaccine. They can go on the Pfizer website. Does the CDC list it as well? So I don't know about the CDC, but Pfizer certainly lists it. And in fact, Pfizer took the step of putting on the public domain its clinical trial. So anybody at any time could look at the entire clinical trial to see what they did as well as the ingredients that are in the vaccine.